Okay guys, welcome to my video tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a theme with WebOS Theme Builder. Now the WebOS Theme Builder is the Theme Builder program that Jason Robitaille uh, created. And let's go ahead and just get right into it. Um, first of all, what you want to do is have all of your icons set up and create all your icons that you want to change on your phone for your theme you just have them all in one folder um, as you can see here is my iPhone icons theme and this is where all my icons are basically so you want to go ahead and open up webOS theme builder uh, it's right here and the first thing you want to do of course is just name your theme we'll just put iPhone test uh, you want to put a version if you want, maybe 1.0, creator, uh, if you want to put a website, and of course any descriptions that you want to put. Uh, let's see. If you want to include some previews, some screenshots after, of course, how you want the theme to look. I think I might have some here. Here's some screen captures. We'll just select that for now, and and here is the actual theme contents. The first one it asks you for is the launcher wallpaper. That's just the, the general wallpaper that you want um, on your theme. Let's see, we'll go and get have some wallpapers here. Let's use this one. And now is where the files. Now you can do this manually. You can add a file and search for what you want to replace and the destination where it goes but of course the best thing is to go to the theme assistant you go to tools theme assistant and once you're in theme assistant is going to again ask you for and basically it shows you all the categories everything you can change so in the basics here are the wallpaper the boot logo, basically the boot logo is where it says palm that is glowing. You can change that. It's, it's a two-step PNG file. So you can do one and one normal one and then one glowing. Uh, however you want to set it up. Uh, you can change your music player backgrounds, your the photo viewer backgrounds, phone background, the video player, and the web um, application background as well. Once you go into icons, this is where you can change all of the icons. They all have to be in a 64 by 64 pixels, and it has to be in PNG format. Um, I already have some of these, so let's go ahead and change some now just to show you how it'll look. If you want, let's do the calculator. So you, again, you go to the folder where you have all of your icons. And calculator is right here. So you select, and there it goes. Then camera, same thing. And you basically can do this for every single icon if you like um, I'll do just one more for the purposes of the tutorial and SMS uh, calendar dates um, basically here you can choose and just put in the calendar so that it can change each day uh, however you want so it'll be 1 through 30 so it does have to be 30 different icons um, I already have that set up but I'm not gonna go through all of those now and of course you can change your smiley faces the, the emoticons and you can also go through the system tab in the system tab is where you can change the screen lock, the backgrounds um, the quick launch backgrounds, the quick launch wave itself uh, the launcher background as well and just a couple other things you can change here and if you have any pre-made uh, patches don't really use that so that's just in case you want to put as far as changing the carrier name from Sprint or Verizon to whatever you like uh, you can change the color of the top bar and you can change the opacity of the launcher so that it can um, either be dimmed or or just less opacity on it. Uh, once you're ready and completed all of your your um, icons that you want to change, just go ahead and close it, and it automatically adds here. All we changed was some icons, so this is where it shows it here. And it shows the destination, the image where the image file is, and then the application ID that you're changing. Um, if the theme assistant doesn't have everything you want to change, if there's any additional information or additional uh, screens or icons you want to change, you can just do it manually like I was saying. Uh, just put in the image file 
and as long as you have the application ID of the file. So uh, this, I, I had changed this around, so let me just go ahead and just submit anything here. Just so that we can save it. We'll just put the background. So once you're ready to create your, your theme, you go ahead and click on build theme. Uh, let me just save it to my desktop and name it test theme. Uh, it would probably be best if you didn't have a space on it, but that's okay. So it says themes are built and just press OK. You can go ahead and close this now. Let's close this. And here is your test theme. Now to install the theme, you can go ahead and either Upload it to prethemer.com and from prethemer you can save it to and in prethemer you can go ahead and just upload it directly and download it through your preware or you can just download it directly by using webOS quick install. Um, so let's go ahead and open up webOS quick install which also it's another program by Jason Robitalli and I have that one saved here as well. And here is WebOS Quick Install. What you want to do is your phone is plugged in already. Um, and again, I'm assuming that you have already rooted your pre and you have WebOS and Preware and installed on your on your phone as well. But so you go to Tools, Themer, and in Themer right now, if you don't have a theme, it's gonna keep it as default theme. Otherwise, you can just revert to default to delete whatever theme you have on there and just go ahead and click on load theme go to your desktop click on the test theme and it shows you basically some screenshots of how the theme is going to look um, right now since I didn't make any changes the only thing that it shows here is a screenshot that I added myself which is just basically a background I put but once you're ready with your theme just click on set theme and it says theming completed and now it's going to restart your phone automatically as well and apply your new theme. You can go ahead and close this already. And in the meantime, your phone is already restarting, which can't really show you that, but it'll restart and show you the theme. If you want to delete the theme, you just go back to Themer, revert to default, and that's how you delete it. And you can go ahead and make any changes you want to the uh, in, in Theme Builder to the theme you just built. And my name is Nick Trinidad. This is everything I have here to show you today. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to comment or email me. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.